Right, we hadn't even gotten, he said this was gonna happen. He said, we're gonna pull up and we're gonna hook up. And he has delivered. So we've been here about, what, 20 seconds? Mate, it hasn't been long. It's not a big fish, <laughs> but I'll take it. Anyway, guys, this is, um, we're back to episode four ground. And if you haven't seen episode four of Coastal Fishing, that's probably the best film, the best episode that I've filmed solo. But we got some fish straight away. Oh, oh I tell you what, mate, we're keeping that That's one. A, that is a keeper. Well done. Is that on the plastic? Yeah, straight away. Nuke straight away. Conditions, guys. The absolute ducks nuts. Great job. And look, guys, I've just taken my mask off to have one quick drink, and uh, and he's hooked up. So I'm just going to get that back on and get on with the session. All right, Kep, it's not a monster, but that's the first cast. How long was that in the water for? About, oh, mate, 30 seconds. Out of seconds. control, mate. So we're happy with that. That's a keeper. It'll be coming home because we need a good feed of fish. But, um,. Hang in there guys, it's a bit rough out here, but we're loving it. Yee, the froth is absolutely, <laughs> the froth is high boys and girls, the froth is high. We've brought you glamorous conditions. We were doing nothing else, it's Sunday afternoon. We've got a storm front coming in, so what would you do other than go fishing here? I don't know, what do people do when they don't go fishing? Surely not sit on the couch with a heater going and a, and a cold beer watching TV, surely not. Well it doesn't sound like my kind of thing. No. Anyway guys, we're out here, like I said to you just then on the intro, that this is one of my favourite spots of all time. It's absolutely blowing a gale, but there's no swell, so to me this is like, this is gorgeous. And, a snapper hit bait already, so hopefully mate, we can put a couple of fish on. And I'm actually quietly confident that kingies might show up. They love a really hot sun, but they also love this crap. I think this is nice. Did we just swing around? Anyway guys, stay tuned, hopefully put you on a bit of action. Imagine that was the only snap of the up, but the only fish. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to imagine that, I'm quietly confident. I've already had my uh, bait bit. I might just step back here and fish this luxurious little log cabin that we got with a roof on it. I'm not used to fishing under a roof, Kev. This is sick. It's pretty mint. On, 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 on. Can you tell we're at Maddie's home turf now or what? Well, mate, it had to happen at some point because you'd smoke me on my house first place. Come around, come around, come around, come around. That's the way that furniture's been. This is what it's all about. Come over the top, get the net. Stay up, stay up. Nice, Dewey. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby. That's what we want, guys. Well, that's it. That's got to be a way to it. That's it. All oh, right. Oh, no, the hat. Hold on. You no, get it. She's no. gone. She's gone. Oh. All right, so conditions are glorious. The fishing's glorious. Guys, it's been a quite a while since I've caught a Dewey up around the six kilo mark in shore like this, but how's that? The Nuke Pilchard, he's absolutely inhaled, the Nuke Philly. But um, guys, I've just lost my hat. Rods are sliding around the boat. It's good to pay off with a good fish. We'll be eating that tomorrow night, I think, Kip. How good is that? <laughs> Woo! Mate, it is on. I reckon we're gonna get a few fish this session. You absolutely. made the right call. Yeah, mate, it's, uh, I'm glad you rang me and said, let's go fishing, because it's all happening. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, it was either that or we were going to spend the night, like you said, by the fire with a glass of port, and it's just not my thing. Crazy how the seas pick up like 
swirl when it blows this hard, eh? Yeah. Close the spot all of it looking like you've got a metre and swirl. Alright guys, so I'm stoked and really not happy at the same time. That hat that I just lost went to the Monty Bellows. It had a lot of sentiment to it, but hey, Cap, doesn't get much better, bro. We've got a pinky and a dewy in the boat. Good size dewy from inside, in inshore, inshore fish as well. Yeah. But look, um, day's young, mate. We've been out here less than an hour. We've been out here, what, half an hour, half 45 an hour. minutes? Half an hour, yeah. It's a good session so far. So hopefully it fires. You feeling it? Are you ready to catch a fish, bro? I'm pumped. Always ready to catch a fish. Have you ever seen me not ready to catch a fish? Well, I have, and you've still caught it and landed it. Your, your rod was like in a holder somewhere while you were filming there or something, and you still catch fish, so. Nah, uh, we got this, we got this. I'm really happy for you, because uh, my boat seems to have cursed you for months. Yeah, it has. And uh, and that's so good to see you pop two quick fish in half an hour. So let's go to another, another half an hour of four fish. Just up it. Let's do it. Squid switch baiting, watch this shit. Squid, bro. I'm not going to claim that one. Actually, you know what? Yes, I am. <laughs> While I'm top, I'm top of the world here, Kip. I might take it. Look, well, Matty thinks he's real slick, but well, that's my squid right there. No, but... I'm going to claim it. I'm claiming it. <laughs> While I'm on that. fire, nice squid. But you know what, Kip? We've got the best tasting box in Australia right there. So a couple more of these. I think I'm going to flick, flick the squid jig around a bit. Well, they always tell you that good weather is good for squid, but I'm not seeing any good weather out here. I know the GoPro is going to make us look like we're in bloody glassed out conditions because it's uh, stabilization software that's in it. Just, I mean, this looks like, like it's flat whenever we're out in the rough, but um, that's a decent sized squid for uh, pretty crappy conditions. But as you can see, we like switch baiting our squid. <laughs> we can't catch them any other way. No, we can't. We're not going to lie. So we know what we're doing with squid. Actually, you know who is an absolute jet? Dom from Dom's Fishing Adventures, and I'd actually love to get Dom involved with us one day. Hey Dom, if you're out there, take us to show us how to catch some squid, mate. We Give us a know. couple of lessons, old mate. Let's do it. Hey, you put your bungs in, bro? Yeah. No, they're in. Is that a stand? Yeah. We would be under the water by now. Well, Cap, there's, um, there's fishing in the wild and then there's just dumb, mate. And I think it's getting to that point. Mother Nature just gave us that little bit of a hurry up. We got some, yeah, we come through, through now. So what we look for when things start to get dangerous, guys, when, when you're experienced in your ground is these white caps. That sort of stuff there can roll your boat. So it's all over at this point. That's just a big set. We're still safe, but we're going to now just mosey on back inshore, like right by inshore, I mean right into the um, shallow grounds and get away from these swells. So we'll see you in a few minutes. 